Hey everyone, welcome to Sketch A Day Live. It is Wednesday. Nope, Thursday. Last night was Wednesday. Thursday, October 1st. First day of Sketchtober, Inktober, whatever you want to call it. I'm going with Sketchtober for a few reasons, but uh, support the advanced design community. If you're watching on the Instagram, welcome. There is a technical difficulty today. However, I cannot, like absolutely cannot see my iPhone. So I have no idea what you guys are saying or doing. If you want to join in, you're going to have to actually go to YouTube and chat today. All right. So I will post the link here and let's see, let's switch it up for you YouTubers, but I will, I will post the link here on Instagram. Um, but I literally cannot see your comments today, unfortunately, because my computer decided to freak out. Um, so yeah, and hopefully I don't miss my delivery at my door um, that I'm supposed to get. I'm getting some new hardware for the stream here. So anyhow, that being said, welcome. Welcome to our patrons. We got Junior here, one of our newest. Welcome. Got Tom, thanks for joining. You're designing your scooter, of course. I thought I would do a, a sphere a scooter of some sort. Yay, Antibus, you got, you got the notification. So we're doing spheres this week on the channel as a challenge. Um, and for the Advanced Design Sketchtober, as it's called, they're gonna be doing, uh, maybe I should, should I open Discord? I'll open Discord, I got the screens. Um, so yeah, the, the topic today that Tom mentioned, scooters, we're drawing scooters. That's what's happening. So that's what I'm going to do today. All right. So we'll kick off with a little bit of a warm up like we always do. Thanks for joining. Got Cami, Cami Toledo. Hello. Straight lines. And yes, I don't just do this for you guys, by the way. Like if I'm drawing, I'll actually warm up before I draw as well. Um, I did listen to the stream again. The audio was a little bit loud, so I'm gonna kick it down just a little bit here. Kick the audio at least of the... Let's see, how's this sounding? Are we good, Are we good? Test, test, test. I always forget which way. Oh well. Anyhow. <laughs> Hopefully I get all these changes figured out. Always try to improve. A little bit earlier than usual today. Um, like I mentioned yesterday, I'll be teaching a class today. And then I'm teaching another class tomorrow. So I'll be able to stream at, let's see, probably midday tomorrow for Fan Friday. Midday my time, which will be 11 a.m. Pacific tomorrow somewhere around there so fear not i will be live it'll be tight though i can only go for like an hour so anyhow hopefully you're having a good thursday every day is a blessing speaking of blessings where's latrice usually usually he's in here okay <laughs> you guys are watching my head um Hello, Svetlana and Art. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I was trying to monitor the stream here. So my internet connection is awesome now. So we shouldn't have any dropped frames or weird things freezing unless the internet itself goes down in my house. So, so yeah, I upgraded my uh, service and I upgraded some equipment that I have in the studio, just a, a network switch. I'm hardwired into the, my cable modem basically now. And uh, I also have a capture card set up that I'm gonna be using. And that's gonna allow me to do a bit more with what, what shows up on screen and the quality of what shows up on screen. So always, always investing in this and trying to make it better for you guys and um, I mean, frankly, it's fun too. So, all right, just sketching some ellipses to warm up. Since we're doing spheres, kind of important that 
I get my circles nice and warm, as well as ellipses. So a really great practice here, if you want, is take one of these circles and then pretend like you're actually cutting through that circle. All right, so that's kind of what I'm doing here. All right, you could also do it at an angle if you wanted to, because that is the section that you're gonna get if you were to cut through a sphere. So really good practice for you guys. So once again, if you're watching on Instagram, I literally cannot see today what's happening on screen. What's up, Latrice? As predicted, you joined. <laughs> Always here, so dependable, thank you. Um, so yeah, since we're doing spheres and one of the prompts today is a scooter, so I figured I'd do like a, maybe an encased or enclosed sphere scooter of some sort. I thought about using digital today, but I wasn't ready and set up for it. I've got to make some changes if I'm going to do that. So just in case you're wondering, why is he sketching on paper? Why? Plus, sketching on paper is actually a really great way to practice. There's no undo, there's no zoom, right? There's no, no special tools that I'm going to break out and use. So yeah. All right, here we go. And with warm-ups, you can do as many of these as you like, but you've got to get the muscles ready to go and your brain, frankly, muscles, brains, eyes, all of that stuff. We got to line up. I am going to turn the sketch from yesterday into a sticker. <laughs> I was thinking about it last night, so I, I might digitize it, make some changes, but I'll turn it into a sticker, make that available. Maybe give out some of those on the stream as well. Ah, got, got some coffee this morning. Get me going. Okay, so yeah, I thought about sketching like some sort of sphere-based, sphere, not fear, sphere-based vehicle. Misplaced my paper there. Okay, here we go. Should I go vertical? Now I'll go horizontal. I'll go horizontal. So in terms of like a scooter, normally, I mean, I do these from time to time. I haven't done them in a while, actually. But normally, you know, you can kind of start with, you know, two wheels and then your scooter is going to look something, if I recall, something like this. I guess it depends on the type of scooter you're doing, right? But you're going to have... Something, something along these lines for your scooter. And you know me, I like to do the orthographic view. That way you can kind of see what's happening, how this works, at least from two views, two perspectives, points of view rather. All right, so there you go. If you wanted to do the top, kind of figure that out as well. That's the deck. It's got the front of the scooter. A wheel right there. Light and handles. All right, so you might have something like that. All right, well, what if, what if, all right, we took this and instead of, I mean, you could add spheres to a lot of this, really. We can make the body um, a sphere. You could make the wheels spheres, you know, if you just want to get creative. Welcome, Bradley, Seisman, Ansh. If it's your first time, hit subscribe, like, turn on alerts. Bradley's asking, do you have any tips for gaining more confidence while sketching? You know... There's a couple of things I used to worry about when sketching. I used to care what people thought more. 
<laughs> I mean, I still do to some extent, certainly, like, clients and whatnot. But I used to care more what people thought. So step one, stop caring what people think. Step two, <laughs> um, try to find, like, find out why you don't have the confidence. Like, is it the confidence in drawing the actual line and executing? Then that's just a factor of practice. All right, so what if the body was actually like a sphere, right? What would that look like? And we had the wheels here, maybe some big windshield of some sort for her scooter. How would you get into this thing? All these things we got to think about here, but could be cool. I guess I could sketch it here too. Maybe I'll eliminate this sketch, but um, yeah, maybe you got something like this. All right, so it's all encased. So yeah, um, just a factor of practice, but also try to get to, okay, what's, what is it I'm not confident about? Is it how I draw the lines or is it how I think people think of my work? Like trying to understand the source of your lack of confidence is going to help you kind of try triage and, and solve that, right? Um, let's see. So if this cuts back to the side, the whole front of this actually will kind of look like a bubble. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll do, I'll cheat a little bit. That's a cheat right there. But let's say we've got our wheel, so we've got our bubble scooter, our sphere. The theme this week is spheres on Sketch Day. We have a weekly challenge that we do, in case you're wondering. And this week, a topic chosen by our fantastic mod and patron, Jordan, was spheres. So I figured, why not do some sphere not fear sphere based scooter or vehicle this is kind of crazy but yeah, maybe maybe this is a little kickstand that that pokes down i don't know all right so you could do something like that all right let's see looks like an auto well we'll see um have you seen the show with the sphere tires oh yeah that'd be interesting Sketching vehicles is diff difficult. Well, you're in luck. I have tons of videos if you search on the channel on how to draw cars. All right, tons of information. There, Ayushi's asking me, can I draw a wheelchair too? I actually did one. Let's see if I can find it for you. Just because I'm pretty sure I did not include it in the tags for the video, but. This is when I got lazy and I wasn't updating my thumbnails or tags. So let's see if I can find this for you. Oh goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through and find this for you, but. I really just need to update all my thumbnails is what I need to do. Anyhow, thanks for joining. Perhaps another time we'll do that wheelchair. Okay, so if we want to draw this in perspective now, I've got to think, okay, what's my point of view? I'll draw a box just to start to kind of show you guys one way you can do this. So drawing a box can help you establish your perspective, right, and place on your page. Um, let's go ahead now. I'll divide this with an ellipse there. And then we'll do one and two ellipses. All right. Actually, that needs to rotate ever so slightly. And then we come down to where the wheel is in the front. All right. And now I'm going to, I'm just looking at this view here to the side because now 
I need to cut up and then over. All right, so I'm just gonna sweep up like this and then over. Um, this is something that probably would take a few underlays to figure out as well, but. We'll just roll with it today. I'm gonna make some tweaks here in perspective as well. Since it's a scooter, I kinda want it to have a scooter vibe. Okay, now the back wheel, okay, it's gonna be back here somewhere. So we're probably not gonna see much of it as it is, but I'm gonna just cheat a little bit there. And now on the side, we also have this like swing arm or whatever detail this is. So I'm gonna carry that through, introduce a part line there. A little bit of a highlight on top, like so, and perhaps continue the light and everything else inside. All right, so inside the bubble is where we get all this other stuff happening. Now, of course, it would be helpful to draw a person inside here. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to do that right now. No, I won't. Well, I guess I could. I guess I could. We could draw a quick person holding on here. Some fingers, thumb. Okay, so this part of the scooter I'm saying is opaque. So we're not gonna see I'm just gonna add some details on the side, but we're not gonna see inside this way, okay? So, as I'm doing this, I'm just thinking of, okay, arm, shoulder, head, where does that all go? Um, Catalin says, I really enjoy the way you go from thumbnail to marker renders. I'm following along. Thank you. Actually, this arm. I'm trying to say, I feel like the head needs to go a little bit this way. So I'm going to just draw some goggles. Sometimes it's a good way to just reset. For me, anyways, reset the head, placement of things. neck, throw some straps. I like straps and overalls. And then I can finish out the arm in here. Now the highlight's gonna obscure part of what's happening on the inside. So not too worried there on the head and whatnot. It's kind of scrunched. And now I'm gonna hint at a leg right through there. All right, maybe he's wearing some sort of wrap on the forearm this arm would go back like so and probably come back like so but we're not drawing that detail okay i got a little bit lost here all right so waist a little, couple little creases and maybe something like that i guess the light's coming from this direction because of the highlight so as i'm drawing this i'll probably add some shadow to this dude. Now, it is kind of ink slash sketch tober. Should I do markers? I don't know. I might just do black and white. We'll see. We will see. All right. So as I do this, right, we can start to pull out the details. <laughs> just by adding line weight, for example. I've rotated the page a bit so I can get a better angle of attack here for these ellipses. So rotating your page, super helpful. If you've never tried it, definitely try it out. See if it makes a difference. If it doesn't make a difference, figure out some way to 
do it do do your best sketches whatever angle means mechanism that is um there's no there's no one way to do it certainly i just have ways that have worked for me all right so yeah i was saying the light's coming from this side so shadow is going to be probably something like this i'll have a nice heavy shadow here all right Opening in for our wheel. So this is our bubble scooter. Since we're doing spheres to the spheres this week, sphere. That's such a weird word. Because you have to like say sphere. Now you could. You know, get a template. This is not a perfect circle. You could get a template and do this, but um, I like the practice. Some people like templates and guides and all that, but I like a nice, natural-looking looking sketch. What up, Toon Koshi? Oliver, hello. 360 views, very important for a biker. Okay, fine. What if, what if there was, like... Um, a digital panel on the inside <laughs> I'm obviously cheating but what if what if what if you could still maybe this is like padded or something but what if you could still get your 360 view on the inside hmm what then but you make a good point I don't ride bikes I feel like they're like death machines sometimes uh, I've got some some running jokes with a few friends of mine that do ride but yeah I I don't trust myself enough to to ride a bike like a motorcycle I had a really bad road bike accident once and it really messed messed me up not physically or even like brain damage or anything like that just it took me a while to um, mentally recover and be okay being on the road um and like driving around and stuff so it took a while i really do need a new air can i think i'm out of i'm pretty sure i'm out or i'm close to being out of my air marker here but let's see what we can do uh, I'm trying to think okay so I'd want a really light pink I'm using cheap markers as well today again so I just you know I gotta work work through them gotta work through them these are Bianyo 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 Markers. I always say that word twice as well. Bradley says, everyone feels that way about bikes. Yeah, I just... Um, I need to spend some time organizing these live videos. My apologies. There I was flexing like, oh yeah, I've done a wheelchair and you can't find it. <laughs> so, my apologies. But I will update the thumbnails and descriptions. I've got like 30 of these to do. All right. I think these snap in. I think they do. I think. Yep, they do. All right. So these Bianos do snap in. So now I'm trying to think, okay, if this is all red, for example, so if I were to start with like a nice pink here, just on the outside, pink, light red, whatever you want to call it. We're gonna get stuff from the ground reflecting. So I'll probably get a little bit of shadow stuff in here. It's like some deep red. And then I'm also gonna get horizon and stuff happening here. And then as we move up to the top, that's where we're gonna start getting some blues and whatnot. So that's kind of how I think about it. A little cheat there. So while I'm doing this, 
Let's see. I'm trying to think color wise. I probably want like a nice purple of some sort, but. Work, cheap Marco. Alright, so I'm just gonna airbrush this a little bit. I don't know if it's gonna work really well because these markers aren't meant for this air thing. So I'm gonna try a Copic. Try my expensive markers. All right, so I'm gonna go probably for another 30 minutes on the stream here, by the way. I do, like I said, I do have to teach a class. So, I'll be doing that. All right, so something like that. And then we're going to get like a deep red through here. Um, but I will use a little of this purple as well. All right, so something like that. This is V06. Do you have a V5 and a V9? Yeah, let's use the Copics. I'll have a little bit more precision in my colors if I do. Because I know exactly what I want. You know? So once again, if you're watching on Instagram, this episode, I can't see what's happening um, on screen. Oliver says, what a difference, cheap versus expensive. Absolutely. <laughs> it makes a difference. Um, I just don't like to use the expensive ones unless um, unless it's like client work or something, usually. All right, so now I'm just going to create some blends that we have the air. I don't know if you can see that warm and kind of that warm and cool thing happening. All right. And I want to preserve this like fade, but I also need to make this sky portion a little bit darker. So let's see if we can start with, I'm going to have to do some testing here. So I have not done this in a while. At least not with this series of colors. Sometimes you get used to using a certain set of colors and it gets really easy to then just go, oh yeah, I know exactly what I need here. All right, so I'm gonna start with this red violet. And like I said, we're gonna get some nice contrasty bits here on the horizon. All right, now I'm gonna pull back down just on the perimeter here you know maybe we're catch catching some other other reflections going through all right and I'll come back in with like a white pen and get the reflections and whatnot oh thank you Gabrielle my teacher always tells us to look at your videos and exercise that's an honor where are you based? Where's everyone watching from today? Not everyone. Some of you already know, but where are you guys watching from? I'm curious. We have an international show here. We're going we're going international. Um, I'm starting to think though that based on a lot of the questions I'm getting, that it's time for me to produce some actual like course material of some sort. So I had a conversation with a friend last night. I guess if you're watching, Mark, what's up? Um, we were kind of talking about it, and yeah, I think it's I think it's time to to do that, wrap up the book, all of that. So 
So we will see. Maybe I'll just do one sketch today. I don't know. <laughs> this is taking me. Okay, we got the USA, Florida, uh, UK, India, Canada, Italy. That's impressive. Ayushi's asking, wheelchair, is it in one of your live videos playlists? It is. However, I will admit, I thought I had tagged the video correctly, but I didn't. So I'm going to have to go back through and like watch and tag a bunch of these videos. So I'm going to try and uh, extract some content for you, for you guys. I'm also... <laughs> I shouldn't, I shouldn't announce things before they're done, but let's just say there's some exciting things in the works. I'll just say that. Um, particularly if you like reviews, if you like um, how-to guides, that kind of thing. We're committed. All right, just taking a little gray marker. I'm just gonna block in, you know, things that are gonna be in shadow. Things like that, this little area here on the inside. All right, just get some get some color blocks, blocks in here. And then on the glass, I can also kind of airbrush that in as well. Just have to pick a good blue for that. A nice light blue. I wish I didn't smudge this so much, but we'll see what I can do to, to fix my ham-fisted approach that I took. Man, I'm like struggling today. We're on the struggle bus, everyone. Bradley, South Africa. So yeah, I like these ear markers. Um, if you're really into marker sketching and you want to try it out, give it a shot. You can get like a solo ear can to start. And then as you get more confident or whatever, you can kind of play with Play with some other ones. I'm gonna make this chrome up front here. Ural, Brazil. Tooth, Two Tooth is a 3D artist. That's cool. I do some 3D. Um, Mostly just like product design stuff. I downloaded Blender, but I just don't have time to, at least I haven't had the time to like really dig in. Learning how to make music right now. That's my, that's my current outside of streaming and work hobby activity that I'm engaged in. Why is my phone blowing up? Okay. So it's using some black here. So like I said, I was gonna make the shadow black. And if the shadow's black, we're gonna get hits of black being reflected into this like chromey, or not chromey, but shiny sphere. Our shadow and whatnot right there. Let's use the big fat marker though. <laughs> if you're not familiar, this is the BFM, the big fat, big freaking, big effing marker, whatever you want to call it. Ural is Russia. Oh, okay. I had no idea. So we got a few. I know we always have like representation from. Uh, looks like I need to refill this guy. Uh, India, we've got Asian representation. Um, Svetlana and Art, I believe, are in Russia as well. 
I hope that's okay to say. Um, so yeah, we always have a pretty international audience going. When did I first really get into sketching and drawing? Um, like taking it seriously was probably when I went to college and realized that if I couldn't sketch or draw, I'd have a really hard time getting a job. <laughs> So that's when I that's when I really started to get more serious about it, um, and even then, like I've gone through phases where I do take it super seriously, and then sometimes I'm like, man, I don't know. But right now, the phase I'm in is yes, 100% serious. I'm trying to improve myself on a few things, so I don't ever and you probably heard me say this before I don't feel like I'm the best at what I do but I am pretty passionate about it and sometimes passion makes all the difference in life so I mean talent certainly part of it and you know how you apply those skills and whatnot the things you learn I was a math major in college and decided to do industrial design. So that's what I do or did, did do, I don't know. I fancy myself more of a, just a creative these days because I do a lot of different things. So it's hard for me to say, oh yeah, I am this <laughs> when, yeah, I'm doing, just doing a lot of different things, right? So. So yeah, if it's your first time, welcome. Thanks so much for joining. If you're watching on the YouTube, I literally cannot see my screen today. So my apologies if you feel ignored or otherwise, I'm gonna make this red, or otherwise uh, disenfranchised, I guess. Is that what it would be? Um, let's make the cushions on the inside red as well. little cushioning bit in here. Some of this I can make like pure black though, like behind our little passenger here. I was trying to find my white pens just a while ago, but I can't find them. <laughs> uh, challenges when redoing your studio or organizing anything. I always like, I always just misplace stuff. <laughs> I feel like I'm spending way too long on this guy. All right. I'm gonna wrap this up. Some quick scribbles in here, but um, if you guys have uh, a request, let me know. I'll see what I can do today. But tomorrow, reminder, tomorrow is going to be Fan Friday. That's gonna be your time, right? I'm gonna come unprepared. For the most part, I'll, I'll pick some interesting examples from our feed. But for the most part, yeah, I'm going to come unprepared and just ready to give you guys feedback or sketch whatever it is you want me to. So that'll be Friday's show. Okay, I found my pants. Um, I'm hoping to go live around nine or no, sorry. I'm telling you lies <laughs> around uh, 11 or 12 Pacific. So just watch out for that. This is a Molotov pen. Oh, I forgot to post. Um, if you are curious about materials, you can check out that link right there. Okay. That should have everything 
about the stuff I use when I'm drawing, particularly when I'm drawing on paper. So markers, pens, paper. It does have information about my streaming setup as well. Not, not a robust explanation. Can't give you all my secrets. Okay, maybe I can, but that's another one of those things I'm working on. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Finish the scooter. It's in Discord. All right, I'll check it out. I can't. I can't share the window right now. Oh, nice, Tom. That's an interesting scooter. It's like a four-wheel scooter. It's very cool. Take care, Oliver. Thanks for hanging out and drawing. If you're drawing. All right. So, like I said, once again, <laughs> final time. I'll say it. If you are watching on the Instagram, I cannot see you today because my computer decided to not accept my iPhone as an input. And whenever that happens, I basically have to restart the computer or it won't work. I guess you could do a planet. That's also a sphere. You want me to do that next? A planet? I've never drawn a planet. certainly be be interesting so this is a white paint paint pen in case you're wondering they're super handy um, so you don't have to you know take out a paintbrush to do something like this Oh, thank you, Rish, Risharish, Risharish. Not sure, how, not sure how you pronounce your name there, but thank you. Let's go ahead and just clean up the top. I'm just gonna add a big, big white spot here. All right. So reminder. Patrons do get access to all the sketches from the stream. Scanned in, high resolution. Hopefully you guys are using that and enjoying it. Also, welcome to our new patron. We have Chevis. We also have Junior Casas. Justin. So thank you very much for your contributions. If you're curious what that is, there's a floating link in the video or revolving link I should say along with the link to my Instagram if you check that out if you are curious all right just keep working this a little bit here there's always like so much more you could do I keep hopping all over this sketch but let's go ahead and Finish out our little cushions here. So if you if you strategically leave some white spots, you can have those act as highlights in your sketch. All right, and that I get questions on that as well. It's just it just takes takes some practice. All right, I have no idea who this is calling me. But I cannot answer. can't answer right now because I'm with you guys if it's important they'll call you back right isn't that how it works Something like that. All right, so this dude 
that I've been delaying and putting off. Um, I need some browns. Some skin tones. It's always a freaking wreck in here. Okay, I do have a night a new dark red I can try. I forgot about. Kilo Crow is getting an HP Spectre. Nice. I always like getting new computers. They feel, I don't know, it just always feels a little exciting when you do. All right, I always forget which colors I use. I guess this person can be ambiguously dark in skin tone. Maybe they're wearing gloves, but parts of their arms are exposed. Start light. You always want to start light till you get it right. Okay. You can use skin tone as well, or sorry, line weight as well to help out your sketch. So just start light till you get it right. And you should be just fine. Then close. I could you do like a green or something? Depends on what you want to do. See, so leaving leaving some white spots there to kind of act as um, highlights. Same thing there on this little arm thing. And then the pants. Um, I think I'll just use a dark, warm gray for all the stuff in here. Just use a warm gray, kind of wash that in shadow. And I'll take kind of gerb. Oh, yeah, I forgot the gerbil robot thing. <laughs> What's up, Mecha Art? I totally forgot. This is just a brush pen here I'm using to kind of clean up with some line weight just a little bit as well, all right. So there's an example of just being a little bit careful, right? a little careful there and I like brush pens because they're like super expressive you can get a nice thick line or a thin line if you want all right so I'm gonna clean up for example this hand a little bit just with this brush pen So I'm looking, do, you, do any of you guys watch Twitch at all? I'm curious. I'm looking into streaming on Twitch as well. Just as an experiment. Um, so I'm curious if any of you guys would want to join there or what that's like. Just doing some audience expansion, if you will. It doesn't mean I'll stop doing what I do here. I'm just... Just looking for ways to reach more people. So that's something I'm gonna try and do. I was just curious, how many of you actually watch stuff? Maybe there's some like little text and whatnot on this. A little heavier line on the bottom of this chrome thing since it's overhanging and all these details kind of make 
make a difference, right? Ooh, I should do a shoe that has spheres as the tooling. That's what I'll do next. Either that or a gerbil, 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 mecha. Like, uh, mecha art was asking for. And I forgot to, forgot to fulfill my promise on that one. YouTube is much better, much more user friendly. Okay, okay, good to know. What are those markers with the signature logo? These are Bianyo markers. Um, I did a review of them on my channel. All right, so I will, what? Sorry, my search was telling me that, ooh, okay. I guess I didn't call them out in the thing here. Let's see, cheap marker. I know I, I know it had cheap marker in the title, there we go. All right, so let's copy this link and I will post it here for you. All right. And if this if this were a sketch you were hoping to present or something, you could always come back in and you know erase like the construction lines and kind of clean up a little bit as well. So just think about what your final goal is with your work, and it can actually. Um, I guess to answer that earlier question can help you strategize like, okay, how do I get what I really want in the end with this thing? Yeah, yeah. Couple more. So the white pen is helpful in that you can you know, pop in some white where you need that contrast, right? highlights, things like that. Now, just be careful because the white is opaque and the marker is translucent. So if you start with the white, you're going to have some weird stuff happening when you, whoa, you guys weren't even seeing the whole thing. <laughs> Um, you're gonna have some weird stuff happening when you try to apply that marker again. All right, so there's my quick dude. Kind of, kind of wish I didn't have the background shadow here now, but it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. All right. Thank you, Jonas. Thanks for joining. All right. So I'm gonna put this off to the side again. All of this will be scanned in high resolution. Okay. Let's do a quick and easy sketch here. You know, maybe get a little bit creative for doing a shoe or something like that. So here's here's just a quick template for kind of sketching out of uh, this shoe. Okay. There's the tooling. And so now I'm just gonna let's see, did this person send me a text? No. I'm just going to uh, draw some spheres here now. Maybe some smaller ones through the middle. Hopefully you guys don't have trypophobia. And I'm just kind of imagining where this this tooling, right? Something like that might be. I'll just draw through on the back. Put my lips down here, right? As the, the, uh, what do you call it? The <laughs> midsole shape as well. We'll kind of sketch that in. And now, just a couple tick marks. I can kind of sketch in what perhaps this shoe might look like. And just finish out.
Now, if you want to, you can, at this point, do something of an overlay, or could do something of an overlay. If you were sketching, you know, your own shoe concept. I feel like I need something through here, but. And I'm resisting the urge to want to do an overlay. I'm just gonna work with, with what I have here. My funky shoe. Let's throw a logo on. messed up there actually maybe I did mess up but it's okay I won't show you guys <laughs> all right okay so we got kind of the start of some sort of tooling here so now I can take some uh, marker here I'll just use the Bianyo black marker Let's get my spray paint out of the way here, spray marker system. We'll get that out of the way. Tom says, I tried to sketch a shoe like this, but it didn't quite come out right. Yeah, it happens. So now I'm just using line weight here to Kind of pull out the outline on the tooling. And that should help clean things up immediately. Now I've got to think in terms of the well, I don't have to right now, but I'm thinking in terms of the geometry of the shoe, like, okay, um, which of these spheres is overlapping the other? So what I mean is some of these lines in my line weight, I actually want to extend on my, my line weight system here, depending on the position of, of that bubble, on my bubble sole. But yes, the theme this week is spheres. So it doesn't matter what you sketch. You know, if you like to do fashion, if you like to do shoes, if you like to do robots, if you want to do a gerbil robot in a sphere, you can do that. You can do whatever you want. I kind of want to put like a giant air bubble there, but I can't right now. Mezad. A book to learn from scratch, industrial design. That's a very broad question. Industrial design is a very broad field, as it turns out. So I'd have to know specifically what aspect of industrial design you're interested in. Otherwise, just uh, search your favorite book selling website, whatever that may be, and uh, type in industrial design and pick one. One of the reasons I'm working on a book is I personally didn't find as much value out of, not all, but many of the books that I've read. Some are awesome, like uh, How to Draw by Scott Robertson, but it's not a specific industrial design book, I would say. Mm, okay, so these I'm putting over. So yeah, it's not a, it's not an industrial design specific book. So if you're looking for industrial design specifically, this lace is out of place, so I'm gonna have to cheat a little bit here. Little cheats. Well, 
tuck this lace in. Our bumpy lumpy shadow that we'll put in eventually. This is a weird funky, funky tooling, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of control here in how it actually wraps up onto the shoe, like so. Maybe just a little overlay right through there. And let's say, do I want to do a knit upper? Do I have time for that? I don't have time to do a knit upper, but I was going to like do the whole um, pattern based like design stuff here, but I don't have time for that right now because I got to get ready to teach. I did answer your question, Mezad. So good luck in your search. Uh, Bradley says, I tried it too. Do you have a favorite product that you like sketching or always sketch? Um, I tend to sketch shoes and cars a lot and I'm trying to do less of that. <laughs> so I do enjoy the suggestions you guys give for sure. All right. Um, what color to make this, this outsole? That is a question. I kind of want to make it red or something. But I feel if I make it red, it's going to be too loud. Everyone likes a good loud shoe, right? It's also somewhat disturbing, all these fears clustered together. I guess I didn't need to do that because this is all going to be shadow anyways. <laughs> All right, so let's finish up. Something related to vehicle design, automation, and wind turbines. Well, I need specificity around the part of industrial design. There's uh, implementation, there's research, there's sketching, there's many aspects to design. So that's my problem with your question. I'm not trying to avoid answer, just when you ask a question, you have to be somewhat specific. It looks like it's on a cloud. I guess so. I guess so. All right, let's go ahead and add some value shading to our sphere, sphere tooling here. When I say tooling, I mean um, kind of the out, out, what do you call it? Midsole, outsole of the shoe. This is the upper. Okay, I hope that phone call wasn't from like FedEx or something because I'm expecting my package today. And I better get it. I better get that package. All right, let's do the tongue here. And just our loop. I'm gonna keep this somewhat light and fresh, perhaps. Maybe go with pink. Some sort of lavender. For the upper. Sky blue. Oh, too late. I just missed that. <laughs> oh, well. marker is like bleeding on me which is interesting 
the Bianyo is, or at least the Copic is making the Bianyo marker bleed, which seems to be advantageous in some spots as the colors blend together, but that's what I get for using a little cheap marker there. But I pro yeah, I'll keep working on it. Where is the light hitting and where do you apply highlight and shadow accordingly? So um, if you go back a couple of live videos, you can see it in the thumbnail. I'll just have to update the description. I have so much work to do. Um, <laughs> but if you go back a few videos, you can see a demo where I talk about spheres and how to light them and why. But this is the shadow core of the sphere right here. So the light's coming from the top slightly to the left cheating on the shadow because I just wanted a simple drop shadow you could also use a pencil to do your shadow cores on something like this as well I need to refill this gray marker On the bottom of the shoe because I want it to wrap a little bit more I'm gonna use just a gray and then I really have to stop streaming in like the next five ten minutes so this was fun as it always is could I do some translucent materials um, I could I thought about making the the Nike symbol here kind of under this pink upper but I was also considering changing the color of the upper at a certain portion. So let me think on that to see what I can do. That question was from Remy. So thank you for the, the great question, Remy. So yeah, what I'm trying to do here is make some of these where we're wrapping a little bit further under the shoe, right? Make these a little darker. Or where we might be close to the ground, things like that. It's a little bit confusing what's happening here with the combination. And then I can come in with something like this. Cool grade five. And ease up that, that blend a little bit. Yeah, I really shouldn't be using these Copic markers. <laughs> I guess maybe I should, I don't know. Oh, I'm sitting forever now, do we? This is a cool gray seven. So yeah, I'm going to commit to organizing the streams a little bit better. So after the stream, I just need to go in and add some keywords. Unless one of you wants to go do that. Just kidding. I'll take care of it. But yeah, I just need to add some keywords to kind of uh, kind of help organize things a bit. Yeah, there's so much I want to add to the shoe to like finish it up. There's some texture dots, for example. You know, maybe maybe this one actually has. Nike name on it or something. Future, Futura Bold Condensed. Just 
Kind of hint at it there. Some texture scribbles. Oh yeah, I don't remember getting a definitive answer from you guys, but if you're interested in like me just painting, I might start doing like just a, a painting stream. Just like literally just chill, chill painting session or something. See, Hamza says, you like how I'm not afraid to add more lines or texture. Yeah, it just comes with experience and kind of just have to trust yourself. I don't, I don't know any other, any other way to explain it besides you just have to get to the place where you can like trust yourself and your skills that comes from practice. I need a darker violet, but did my Copic color system fail me today? I hope not. I'll just add a little bit more here. A little bit more on the laces. Like so. <laughs> I'm spending way too long on this sketch, but I'm committed at this point. All right, so we got some excitement around just painting. All right. So maybe I'll mix it up, do just a, uh... hey, today we're gonna paint <laughs> session. Um, it's interesting because I'm, I'm actually learning to paint as well at the same time. So, and by learning, I mean, I understand the principle. It's just more like there's some practice and I'm not what I would consider to be an expert at painting by any means. All right, so the swoosh. What color to make the swoosh? I guess I'll just make it this bluish color. If you've never used a brush pen, try one out, see how you like it. Cause even like, so watch, I can get a thin stroke like that, thicker, I can tip it on the side and get a thicker stroke, right? Or just go real slow. Like you can get a lot of variation, right? That's just one pen. And it kinda just helps your, I think anyways, helps your sketch feel more, I'm trying to think of the right word, organic, or just, just gives it like a little bit of realness, at least that I appreciate. So try it out, see if you like it. Yeah, I think I want to make this or keep that, because I can't find my other pinks, but I want to make or keep this, uh, see, are you going to be too intense? Yeah. Keep that white so it's almost like the toe of the shoe kind of got dipped or something so if we're gonna keep that white then we need to just add some tone to it and all the right 
right spots, of course. Brush pen is nice, but dangerous if you're prone to mistakes. Yeah, I could see that. Just some interesting you can try, I guess, more importantly, if you wanted to, right? All right, I'm gonna call it quits here, guys. We'll just do a quick review. <laughs> Thank you again for watching, as always. Super fun. All right, so <laughs> we just did two sketches today because I decided to go crazy in detailed. Um, oil paint, it'll just be digital painting, so using Adobe Fresco is what I'm gonna, um, gonna use. See, Mecca says, purchase first brush pen. Yep, there are many men and women, or I'll just say human comic inkers that switch to fine brushes with ink. Yeah, I've seen that as well. That's like the next step for me, but I haven't quite gotten there. All right, so we did our uh, Sketchtober, Inktober <laughs> sketch of the day. That is my sphere-based scooter. Um, and then we also did some sphere outsoles on this crazy funky shoe so i know that was a long time um kind of digging into this but thanks for hanging and watching pardon me always a pleasure um i'll be back tomorrow like i said um probably around 11 12 pacific um let's see no it'll be 11 pacific is what i'm gonna be on so if you want to check that out i'll be there um, if not 11, then it'll be, it'll have to be a little bit later, like 2 PM. So, but that being said, as long as you have <laughs> your subscribe turned on and alerts, you should be notified of when the stream is live. At least, um, you can also sign up for the discord. There's a bot that'll post when a stream is scheduled and you can check the stream that way. Um, throw it on your calendar, whatever, all that good stuff. Okay. Um, thanks for hanging again. Thank you to the patrons, new patron, Shevin, Chevis, Justin, uh, Jr. as well. Thank you very much. And to all of you who were watching, Latrice, Fetlana, Tom, um, everyone else. And if I forget a name, my apologies, but love you all. Thank you for the support. And I hope you have a happy and productive Thursday. All right. Take care. Peace.